Hello, actors. It is Wendy Lane Wright, the Hollywood talent manager. It is Wendy Elaine Wright, not Wendy Allen, although it's kind of cool. It's Wendy Elaine Wright. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. I am a talent manager in Los Angeles, California. I represent actors, voiceover actors, producers, writers, all kinds of people. And my job is to help people like you, people who are creative with a dream, who have goals to help you achieve those things. Now, as a talent manager, I sign an actor to my roster and then I develop them. I teach them what they need to do about their headshots and their acting clips and what classes to take. And I teach them about the business and then I get them an agent and then I help them get into the right acting classes, the right audition classes and help them get work in TV and film and commercials and voiceover and all the other things they dream of. And I work as a team with agents on behalf of my clients. Oh, I love being a manager. And I started a Facebook group called Talent Managers for Actors. It's a group with about 100 managers and agents and casting directors, I think 150 actually, um, and about 14 moderators. And we are there 365 days a year, seven days a week, 24 seven, answering questions from actors, people that are new to the business or people that have been in it a while and they still are not where they wanna go, or people that have worked a little bit, have representation, but they're stuck at the level they're at and they wanna to get to the next level. What do I do? You can join Talent Managers for Actors completely free. It's We've been there five years now, I think. And it's the only place in the business anywhere where you can post questions 24 seven and only legitimate professional vetted people with experience will answer those questions. It is not a Facebook group of opinions. We do not let new people answer questions. We do not let people that are not in the business answer questions. So like if you're a new actor, you can't come there and answer questions. There are agents, managers, and casting directors who do this for a living every day, they answer the questions. A lot of other Facebook groups let everybody answer questions and everybody's giving wrong information to each other and it's like a, it's a clusterfuck, okay? That's not what happens at Talent Managers for Actors. There's also a set of working actors that you see on TV uh, that have experience in film, have booked 40, 50 television shows. They know how to be a working actor and they are VIP moderators that can answer all the questions you have 24 seven. So it is the only Facebook group in the world for actors to come and get legitimate, honest guidance. So join talent managers for actors. If you want to have any of your questions answered whatsoever. Now this channel is also to give you guidance and advice and experience from my perspective as a talent manager. And I'm a professional singer for, I haven't been singing lately, but I had 20 years as a professional singer. So I'm also an artist. I also understand the concept of having a dream and wanting to make that happen. And I've sung on over 65 CDs. I've worked with incredible people. I've traveled around the world performing. I've had record deals. And then I became an agent and now I'm a manager. So I understand you as an artist, okay? I understand your dream. I understand the drive, the hunger, the desire. I understand that you don't know anything and you need help and guidance. And I understand that the more information I give you, the better you'll do, the more successful you'll be. And I, I feel like God is using me to teach you everything I can so that you can be successful. Because I love doing this. I mean, nothing excites me more than helping people succeed. Nothing it's like, oh, it's my high. It's my purpose. Now, as a manager, I see all kinds of crazy shit. <laughs> I see all kinds of behaviors with casting directors and agents and actors and productions. And I've, I'm on the inside of this business, okay? And I want all of you who are coming into this business to understand the business side of this whole deal because it's show business. What is it again? Show business. It's not show, show. No, that's what you learn in acting classes. That's what you do when you're in front of the camera or on stage, the show part. The business part is even more than the show. 
It's like 25% show, 75% business. For reals, okay? So when you go to college to take your degree and you major in theater and, and you don't take any business classes, you are at a deficit. Because once you graduate from college and you have your show part down, you have no business. And it's 75% business, friends. So that means if you're going to study acting in college, study business too. Double major, theater and business, okay? Film and business. Whatever it is you're going to do in life, it's related to business, okay? And as an actor, you are your own business. You're an entrepreneur. You own your own business. So you need to know how to run a business. And you need to know how to navigate this business. And that is not taught in acting schools at all, right? So when you come out of acting schools, it's not even taught in colleges. Like Yale Drama School does not teach the business of acting. They might have a speaker talk about it a little bit, but it doesn't cover 99% of what you need to know. Now, because I know that I created an online school that teaches the business of acting, and we cover everything that an actor needs to know. And our teachers, we have 14 teachers, including myself, they're all agents, managers, casting directors, and working actors. And accountants, attorneys, screenwriters, producers, heads of networks, all kinds of professional, legit people that you need to learn the business from. So if you're new or you've been at this a while or you're just coming back into the business after raising your kids or spending your life as a cop or serving in the military and now you want to follow your dream, come directly to Hollywood Winter Circle Academy. Do not waste any time. Do not waste any money. Do not be sidetracked by scams, wrong information, poor advice. You don't have time for that. You need to learn how the business works and you need help and guidance. And that's what we do at Hollywood Winter Circle Academy. Every single week you come to class. There are three classes a week. You can attend all three or just one, whatever you want. The replays are available. And we will teach you how to take headshots, who to train with, how to build your acting profiles, how to build your casting networks, platform, your Actors Access platform, how to audition, how to train, who to train with, what classes you need, how to get speaking roles, how to get an agent, how to get a manager, how to get publicity for your projects. It goes on and on and on. And you need what we teach you. The actors that take our classes at Hollywood Winter Circle Academy are so much better than the ones that don't. They are like the cream of the the cream of the club, cream of the club. They're the cream of the crop. They are the cream of the crop. They are the elite group of the next generation of actors. I swear to God. These actors come out of our school mind-blowingly prepared. They know how to market themselves. They are confident in who they are. They know how to audition. They believe in themselves. They have all their materials together. They know what to say in agent meetings. They know how to take headshots. and They are freaking phenomenal. They're the best of the best. And agents and managers love the actors that come out of Hollywood Winter Circle Academy. It's true. Uh, if you want to go to Hollywood Winter Circle Academy Facebook page and look at the reviews, you will see what actors think about the school, what agents and managers think about the school. Go to the Hollywood Winter Circle website, hollywoodwinnercircle.com. And you can read what all the testimonials are. There's Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of testimonials. Is everybody lying? No. It's because this is really a groundbreaking course. It never existed before. There's nobody else teaching the business of acting in this comprehensive way where we work with you personally and really guide you step by step. So uh, I needed to spend some time telling you about that because a lot of actors are lost. And a lot of times when I talk to an actor, five years later, they're still lost. Uh, you don't want that to happen. I don't want that to happen to you, okay? It's, that's just, that's crazy. That's crazy talk. There are solutions, and the solution for you is Hollywood Winter Circle Academy. I swear to God, I promise you, you will not regret it, not for a second. Now, one of the things we teach at HWC, which I'm going to talk to you about here, is getting publicity for your projects. And one of the questions was from William, when should an actor get a publicist? First of all, you need to know why publicity, publicity, why publicity is important in the first place. 
any product that exists. No matter. Needs to be sold in order to buy it. Don't be afraid of sales. Somebody bought, sold me this. Someone sold you your phone. Someone sold you your car. Someone sold you your glasses. Someone sold you your computer. Someone sold you your food. Sales is just a part of life, you know. I, I'm selling you HWC because it's a great product and you should be in the school because we're going to take damn good care of you. Someone sold you this because it's a good product. I freaking love my iPhone. You can create an entire movie on the iPhone. Edit it and enter it into film festivals and win an Oscar from this, right? And your creativity. So the point is, is don't be afraid of sales. The question is you have to know what to buy. You have to know what to buy. My, turn my, turn my light off. You have to like, acting teachers will be selling you all the time. You have to figure out which classes you're gonna purchase into. When people have movies out, they spend millions of dollars in advertisements to get the, the movie in front of the audience so that people know which movies to go to. When people invent a new Mercedes, another like type of Mercedes or another Porsche, they got to sell it all the time to get people familiar with the product. Once you buy the product, if you like that brand, you'll buy it again. I'm on my fourth Mercedes. I love Mercedes. I have a 300 GLC SUV. I love it. Okay, I've had sports cars, I've had E320s, I've had other ones, but Mercedes, I'm a Mercedes girl. Okay, Mercedes has to sell me the Mercedes, but once I drive it and fall in love with the brand, I'm gonna, I, I stick with that brand, I really love it. So, anything you do is gonna require sales. As an actor, you're a salesperson, you are the product. You're the brand, you're the product, and your job is to sell yourself to casting. Sell yourself to agents. Sell yourself to managers. Sell yourself to studios, producers, directors, writers, the public, your audience. It's all about sales. Hollywood is the sales business of entertainment. Sales. And when TV shows are recorded, they put on television, and now all those shows are completed, companies sell those finished products to other countries who then dub their voices in, you know, Swahili and French and, you know, German and Italian and Spanish. They take the shows we've created in the United States. They take the Finnish productions and sell them to other countries. That's something called MIPCOM every year. MIPCOM was in France this year. Oh, my God, I love MIPCOM. It's amazing. But that's where you take products that are finished and sell them to other countries so they can play them on their channels, right? Every single part of this business is sales. What is publicity? Publicity is sales. Publicity is getting eyes on your product, on your film, on your acting work, on your movie, your music, your record, your studio, whatever it is. Publicity is critical to your success. Now, when you're a brand new actor starting out or you don't have a lot of money, like you're not making 100000 an episode, you made $8,000 on acting in the last three months. All right, it's not enough to hire a publicist because they cost $8,000 a month, right? At some point, you're going to hire, a, when you get real successful in this business, you will be hiring an independent publicist who will work on your behalf for like five to six thousand dollars a month to keep you in the public's eye. They will be working to keep you in people's minds, to create a buzz, to create hype around you, to help make you a star. That's what publicists do. And when you're an actor, you don't have to wait until you can pay eight thousand dollars a month to do publicity. You can do it for free. Oh, how do you do that? I'll tell you how. Let's say you are in a movie. You have a supporting role in a movie, and nobody gives a shit because <laughs> nobody's interview interviewing you. You write a press release, and you send it to local bloggers, local news stations, local newspapers. You send it to the newspaper in your high school 
where you went to high school, where you went to college. You make a list of media outlets in your hometown, in your home state, in the state you went to college in or where you live, any of that. You get a list of outlets that would be interested. If you went, okay, if you grew up in North Carolina and now you're in a movie, North Carolina newspapers and bloggers are going to be interested because that's news. But they're not coming to you because nobody knows you exist yet, so you have to go to them. And that's where publicity comes into play. You have to go out and promote your movie. Don't think the movie company is going to promote you. They're going to promote the star of the movie. They're not going to promote you in it. So you have to promote you in that movie. Does that make sense? It should because it's very clear. Now, let's say that you have a film and you wrote it or you starred in it or, or you directed it, whatever, and you put it in film festivals and now it's winning an award. You need to promote that. Again, back to your list of reporters, entertainment reporters from your home state, your high school state, your college city, all of these entertainment bloggers, they all get a, an email saying, uh, my movie's in this film festival and that film festival. It just won for best actor, best picture, and here are some facts, and I'd love to do an interview. If you don't do that, who's going to do it? So you have to do publicity. For all the things in your career you have to do, the best thing you can do is schedule it. Pick a day and sit down. It's Mondays from 12 to 2 or 5 p.m. to 7 p.m., whatever it is you pick, and do publicity for your career. Put it on your Instagram, your Facebook, your Twitter, your TikTok. Or do whatever you got to do. Promote it. Send out press kits. You have a mailing list of people that you've met in the business Send them all out an, an, an announcement. You just booked this film. It's in this film festival. You just won. Every three or four months, let everybody you know hear about your wins. You are your own publicist in the first five years of your career, right? When you become a series regular on a show, this, the network has a publicity department, and they tend to do a lot of publicity. But even actors on series regular roles on major network shows have a publicist they pay themselves specifically to get publicity for them. Now I worked in publicity twice in my life. One and we represented Keith David who's a big huge star. Um, a whole lot of other people. We just represented a lot of people. And I worked for uh, Lee Salters level just like huge stars. Our job as a publicist was a couple of things. I also worked in publicity for John Singleton at New Deal Productions on the Sony lot. So I've worked in publicity three times. I have experience in publicity. And I love publicity. I think it's a great, I just love that business. So the job of a publicist, how do I keep this actor in the public eye? Well, we had a list of news, we had a list of magazines. In fact, we had a closet full of magazines. Every kind of magazine. Dog magazines, biking, hiking, exercise, lift home, gardening, every kind of exercise, every kind of magazine. And then we take the actor that we represent. They're paying $5,000 a month. Um, we need to keep them in the public eye. Andrea just got a dog. Let's write out a blurb about her and send it to every dog magazine and see who'll pick it up. Um, she just bought a car. Every car magazine. What does she like about her Mercedes? write a little paragraph and send it to all of them. We just got to keep them in the press. Keep them in the press. Keep them in the press. It's part of the job of being an actor. So I just wanted to bring that, inter that information to you. You know, I have a school that teaches actors the business of acting. That means we teach publicity. We teach social media marketing. We teach networking, building relationships with agents and managers. All of that is part of the business. And it's also part of my job to market the school so you know it exists. Because if you don't know it exists, you can't attend. And you need to know it exists so you can go. And people need to know your movie exists. People need to know you're an actor and that you're available for projects. If they don't know you, they can't hire you. So publicity matters to everybody, and you need to get really good at it. And if you don't know, you know me. What do I suggest? Go down the YouTube rabbit hole of publicity, okay? Read everything you can about how what is publicity. 
how to get publicity. How do actors get publicity? How can I publicize my acting? How can I publicize my movie? Read, read, read. Listen to blogs. Read articles. Read books. I have a book that's called, where is it? The Actor's Guide to Self-Marketing. The Actor's Guide to Self-Marketing. Read the book. And then you start taking notes and you think, okay, obviously I can't do all 17,000 of these things, but I can do these 10. And I will put that on my calendar and do these 10 things one Monday a month for 12 months. Now think back. Did you do that for 12 months last year? No. Now what if you did that this year? One Monday a month, just one hour, 12 months. That's much more work than you did last year. That's more people that have heard of you, more people that have seen your work. That's, that's going to give you more results than not doing it all at all. So I hope that was helpful. William Jefferson, thank you for the question. I'm so excited to be here to give you guidance and advice and information. I love you guys. I hope this has been successful. Smash that subscribe button. Show me some love so I can keep like giving you guidance and support. And when I know that this matters to you and that you really like what I'm doing, it gives me inspiration to give you more and to, to help even more, you know? And if you have any questions at all whatsoever about publicity or whatever I just talked to you about in any of my videos, just go down below in the comment section and tell me your thoughts, your feelings, your frustrations, your hopes, your dreams, your questions. I am here for you. And I really look forward to seeing you in the next video. I love you guys. Thanks for being a part of my family. I love you.